See all the battles Marines fight to win at Marines.com. If your vehicle needs repair, you can depend on the crew at Extra Care Auto Repair. They can repair almost anything with wheels, gas, diesel, domestic, or import, and their work is top quality and reliable. Extra Care Auto Repair on North Federal in Riverton. Community Health Centers of Central Wyoming has locations across Fremont County ready to serve you at Dubois Medical Clinic, Riverton Community Health, and Lander Community Health Pediatrics. We accept all forms of insurance, including Medicaid and Medicare. Are you struggling to get medical care? Ask for their sliding fee scale. From family medicine to pediatrics, Community Health Centers are here to serve you. Call 307-463-716. Good afternoon, Tiger fans. Lander Tiger basketball is on the air from the Pinedale Middle School in Pinedale, Wyoming at the Pinedale Winter Classic. And with me is Alan uh, uh, Mullins. And uh, Alan, uh, wow, one more game to go. The Tigers will be playing the Buffalo Bison here. And we've had uh, several delays this afternoon, so the game not starting when we thought we would. Yeah, that's right. So it's we're a good uh, 30 minutes uh, from where we would thought we were at, but here we are and let's see what these Tigers can do. Warland just defeated uh, Lyman uh, 58 to 55, a three point win in overtime. That's uh, what the, we had a little delay in the junior high game, or uh, not the junior high, the junior varsity game earlier today. That was a delay to about a half an hour. And then, of course, you have an overtime game. It never fails. It never fails. Nope, nope. Well, the Tigers have uh, won one and lost one in this uh, tournament. Uh, they defeated uh, these Warland Warriors 55 to 49 on uh, Friday. And then this morning, uh, they lost by 10 to the Rollins Outlaws, uh, 69 to 59. But that loss could have been a whole lot better. Uh, the Tigers were down by 30 at one point and came back to within single digits, but they just ran out of time. Just ran, yeah, just too, too, too much and too, not enough time there. But yeah, they, they cut that, uh, cut that lead to eight and had the ball, I think, and had a chance. So nice, nice to see if they could kind of keep that momentum going to start. Yeah, exactly, and not let the other team uh, get away. Of course, uh, we have one of the state's uh, premier players uh, here for the. Uh, um, Buffalo um, uh, Buffalo Bison. We have Cam Johnson uh, averaging over 10 points a game. We have Zane Huber averaging over 10 points a game. And Eli Patterson is the young man I was talking about. He's an excellent basketball player. He uh, has 10.2 uh, points a game and seven rebounds a game. And uh, they have another player uh, just uh, missing double figures. Brady Engling, 8.2 uh, points a game and a 3.4 rebound. So the uh, Tigers are going to have to get with it. And, uh, and of course, um, you know, these are why you play these games, uh, Alan, to get the, the team some experience, find out where your problems are before you start with conference play, and then you're able to make those uh, adjustments. Yeah, I think I think Lander's learning a lot about their team, and I think they're even building a little bit more uh, their identity. So, yeah, they're... Uh, I think, uh, you know, a good performance here, get them into conference play, they'll be, they'll be feeling good about themselves. Yeah, the Tiger captains are out uh, shaking hands with the uh, Buffalo uh, captains now, and we're about seven minutes away from the start of this game. We'll be right back after this. CCW.org to schedule your appointment. B&M Septic and Excavation offers prompt professional service. Call them today for a quote at 850-2200. They serve far and wide across Fremont County and deep. B&M Septic and Excavation is proud to support Fremont County sports. Your tax pros at 672 West Main Street in Lander, Wyoming can handle all your tax needs. Whatever your situation, we know what to do. Call 307-856-2256 today to schedule an appointment. H&R Block is open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. A proud sponsor. 
Ernie over and Alan Mullins back with you from the Pinedale Middle School in Pinedale where the Lander Valley Tigers are about to take on the uh, Buffalo uh, Bison. Uh, you know, we were joking uh, yesterday, Alan, that uh, you can't roll a skate in a buffalo herd. <laughs> and we had the uh, Mountain View Buffaloes and the uh, Buffalo Bison. That was a pretty good game uh, in, in that one. But the Tigers now uh, facing uh, Buffalo from the East Conference, of course, Tigers from the uh, West Conference. And we'll see how they go about five minutes and 45 seconds away. And of course, in our uh, in our um, discussions with Coach uh, Stu Mullins, you know, he says we average one really good quarter a game. And, uh, you know, maybe tonight we'll get two good quarters a game. <laughs> and of course, the object is to get four really good quarters a game, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, he'd be happy to, to put two together and, and see what happens. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I, they're going to have their hands full. This this Buffalo team is a, another team that was in state in the state tournament last year, and some kids are back, and and uh, so we'll see what we can what we can do tonight. Yeah, and these uh, Buffalo Bison on the way home tonight, they've got two passes they have to contend with. You know, South Pass and Powder River Pass. If they go that way, they might. Uh, uh, go through Casper, though, I'm not sure. Well, we're four minutes, 50 seconds away from the uh, start of this uh, basketball game. And uh, looking back on, uh, we didn't name a player of the game uh, last night. Uh, we were trying to get out of the way of another broadcaster. But Noah St. Clair is going to be our Gatorade player of the uh, game. And uh, he had just a phenomenal fourth he did. quarter. That fourth quarter was something else. Yeah, he had two points at halftime. He ended up with 17, and all of those came in the fourth quarter. Yeah, it was just not an a, amazing. It game. was amazing, and, and just the confidence he was playing on, even on the defensive end. You know, I think he had a couple of steals down low, and so yeah, it'd be nice to see if he could kind of keep that trajectory going here. Well, as Coach Mullen said, you know, uh, we've got to get the guys running. We want to get them running. We uh, don't want them to stall, and we want them to pass the ball, not take bad shots, and. Uh, you know, that comes with more experience as the Tigers do have a uh, quite young team. They do, and, there's, and they're still trying to find that that lineup mix. You know, he's still trying a lot of different kids at different times, and but they'll, uh, they'll dial it in. In uh, this morning's game against Rollins, uh, Noah St. Clair was the lead scorer with 17 uh, points. Talon Whalen had uh, 13, and Bennett Washburn had uh, 12, uh, seven points uh, for Brooklyn John and four points for Finn McFadden. So they had pretty good uh, scoring there from uh, three folks. You want to make sure that uh, when you do have the kids scoring, it's more balanced so you have uh, more players in the scorebook. Yep, exactly. And I think that's, I think they're slowly getting there. You know, that was their highest output uh, points of that last season, game. Yeah. And, you know, with some kids getting some pretty decent, uh, you know, scores. So. Let's add one more to, you know, the double-digit kid and get four in there, and I think we'll be in good shape. Yeah, all right. The Tigers and the Bison coming up right after this. You're listening to Lander Tiger Basketball on KFCW 93.1 and streaming live at uh, YO Today YouTube. Enterprises. For over 50 years, Bailey has become the name you can trust. With pit stop travel centers, you can fuel up and stock up on trip snacks at locations all over Fremont County. You can also put your trust in Bailey Tire and Auto for service to keep handy for those times when your luck runs out on the road. Refresh at the Speedway Cafe with a dine-in meal or a round of carry-out with a variety of specials to keep you going. Go with Bailey. Riverton Blowdorn Lumber is proud to support youth sports. Experience the Blowdorn difference. Quality products, design, delivery, and expert service. Blowdorn Lumber, 1202 North Federal in Riverton. Blowdorn Lumber. And we are now in our pregame show here on the, the uh, YO Today uh, broadcast of uh, the Lander Tigers uh, game, and also we're uh, coming up uh, on uh, the uh, starting lineups, and uh, those will be from uh, Sutherland's. And of course, uh, we all know that the, um, uh, as we mentioned, the uh, really good player from uh, Eli Patterson, averaging over 10 points and seven rebounds uh, a game. And uh, 
Alan, uh, we might see a little bit of a, a lineup shake up a little bit here today. Yeah, that, that would not surprise me. Um, you know, I know he's looking for some different kids and doing some different things, but it looks like he's with Lander. We're going to go with our same same lineup here. And we are in uh, the Hampton uh, pregame uh, show, and uh, we want to remind you to stay tuned to the San Spadoon uh, for the rest of this uh, basketball game. We're coming from the Pinedale Middle School, which is uh, one of the smaller gyms here in Pinedale. They've got three competition gymnasiums, and uh, uh, this one has limited seating capacity. And as we found out, limited broadcasting capacity <laughs> yeah. as well. Yep. But the Tigers are going to come out, and they're going to go with uh, Keaton Iron Eyes, uh, Parker Sixby, uh, Bennett Washburn. Uh, we've got Finn McFadden out there, and uh, also uh, Brooklyn John. And for a freshman, Finn McFadden has been playing some good basketball for he has been. Coach Mullins. Yep. Yeah, he's... He's uh, starting to kind of figure out, I think, his role here, and and uh, I look for lots of good things out of Finn. Yeah, we're down to uh, the buzzer now. There we go. And the Bison should be coming out, and it looks like we've got, uh, naturally, Eli uh, Peterson is going to be coming out. Ryan uh, Nichols is going to be uh, out there. We have uh, 23 Brady uh, Engling is uh, there. Number 11, Zane Huber, is uh, there. And uh, we've got one more player. Uh, let's see, we got uh, 20, 23, 15, and three. And three. There we go. Cam, uh, Cam Johnson. This has been your starting lineup brought to you by Fremont County's Home Improvement Center. And it uh, oh, looks like we had a little bit of boo-boo over there on the far <laughs> side. They've got a mop. <laughs> yeah, like paper towels. A bucket out there. Somebody must have dropped a drink or something. Yeah. And now they're trying to clean the floor. That's why we're waiting just a little bit here to get this uh, game started. And, of course, uh, we are uh, 40 minutes uh, behind schedule here. But uh, as soon as this basketball game gets going, uh, we'll get right back uh, on top. So it looks like. Looks like they've got the floor cleaned off, Allen. Um, they had more paper towels over there, and the officials still want some more. Yeah, not quite. And he's not quite satisfied yet. We had a bloody nose in the last game, and that got cleaned up pretty uh, pretty well. But I don't know if somebody dropped a drink here or something, but uh, they're doing a lot of cleaning over there on the far side, right in front of the uh, Buffalo bench. Yeah, it might have been some Gatorade because it looks like it was a little sticky. Yeah, it sure does. All right, here we go. All right, we are ready to go. And in the center jump ring, of course, we'll have Eli Patterson going against Bennett Washburn. They're both about the same height. Tip goes to the Buffalo Bison and is saved. And Zane Huber will bring it into the forecourt on top of the key. Bounce pass on the near side to Ryan Nichols. Nichols, ball head over his uh, head over heels there takes a shot from the corner it's short not good goes out of bounds and it'll go to the Tigers Keaton Iron Eyes was right there to make sure no Tiger touched it as it went out of bounds so play just underway here in the first period from the Pinedale Middle School landed with the ball Brooklyn John underneath has the ball tipped away and out of bounds by Patterson so the Tigers will take it out underneath the uh, Buffalo basket. Trying to get the play set up. Inbounds to 6B, and it goes out of bounds. Still will be Tigers' ball. <laughs> they say last touch by Ryan Nichols. So they'll take it out right in front of the uh, Buffalo bench on the uh, far side. Beautiful day today here in Pinedale in the 20s, but no precipitation, so that was good. Here's the inbounds pass. McFadden has it, and we have a whistle. And, uh, well, I didn't see the uh, Yeah, I don't know what they call. Us. I don't know. It was a turnover on Lander. So uh, Buffalo has got the ball. They'll have their second chance at the basket here. Inbounds play goes to Cam Johnson. Johnson over to Ryan Nichols. Nichols looking to get it into the forecourt, and he does to Huber. Huber underneath, shot is up off, and it bounces through. And, of course, that's Mr. Patterson that gets that. And it goes two to nothing on our wyotoday.com scoreboard with the Buffalo Bison in the lead. Lander has it. There's a shot from the lane. Goes in and out by Iron Eyes. Tigers are wearing their black uniforms uh, today and uh, with uh, white numerals trimmed in green, Kelly Green, with uh, green stripes 
uh, on their uh, shorts and on the side of their uniforms. Buffalo in white with gold letters, trimmed in black. Here's a shot underneath the basket. Is up off, not good. Rebound by Finn McFadden. Outlet pass comes to Brooklyn John across the timeline on the far side. Shot from the corner by Keaton. Iron Eyes is good for three. Yeah. So Keaton strikes early, and the Tigers go up three to two on our WyoToday.com uh, scoreboard. Here's Buffalo underneath the basket. Can't get a shot off. There's another attempt. It rolls around and off. Not good. Offensive rebound is fought for, and we have a traveling Try. call on the Buffalo uh, Bison. Well, I like the way we're playing defense there underneath, blocking out good. Yeah, Tigers are the guests today on the uh, scoreboard here at the Pinedale Middle School. A lot of nice facilities here in Pinedale, Alan. There is. Yeah, there yeah you can tell a, where they're investing in their community. They've got a beautiful aquatic center here. All right, Tigers have the ball in the forecourt. On top is Washburn. Washburn looking to make a move, and it bounces right off the face of Brooklyn John and out of bounds. That pass was a little higher than he thought it was going to be, and it went yep. right off his chin and out of bounds. So second turnover for the uh, Lander Valley Tigers and the uh, Buffalo Bison. Almost a uh, half-court uh, yep. violation there, but not quite. Ryan Nichols brings it down in the corner on the left-hand side outside. Now in the middle to Patterson, uh, and uh, Patterson flings it out to the near side, Huber. Now they're passing it around, trying to get an open shot for uh, Patterson, and he gets one, but it's not good. Long pass down court is too soft, and it's intercepted. Third turnover by the uh, Lander Tigers, and Buffalo comes back on offense, and it's uh, Nichols with the ball. The ball goes around the horn. Now back over to Nichols on the right side. On top of the key to Huber. Huber bounces it a couple times. Back over to Nichols. Back to Huber. They're just trying to set something up on the underneath side, it looks like. Yeah, Alan. Pretty good D so far. There's a shot up off. That's not on good. The back. And yep. a foul is going to be called over the back on Cam Johnson. That'll be his first personal foul, and it'll give the ball to the Tigers. Lander leading 3-2 to two here in the early going. Five minutes to go in the first period of play. Couple of subs for the Tigers, Noah and uh, Talon. Talon Whalen and uh, Noah St. Clair. Noah had a heck of a game last night. Boy, I tell you what, that fourth quarter, it'd be nice if you could start off that way. Parker, six feet for three, it rims in, rims right back out. Too much spin on the ball, and Patterson gets the rebound, comes down court now for the Buffalo Bison, hands it off to Johnson. Johnson on the right-hand wing, back behind him and around the corner it goes to Huber. Huber on top again, around the horn. Now this side, inside, goes to Patterson. He throws it across the court. In the middle, there's a play by Engling that's not good, and Lander gets the rebound. So the Tigers doing well, scooping the boards here this afternoon. Yep. Talon Whalen brings it down for Lander off to Sixby. Sixby on top of the arc, hands it off to Iron Eyes. Iron Eyes to Whalen, 3.58 to go. Here's Whalen, makes a drive in and kicks it right back out. Whistle and a traveling call on Noah St. Clair. Right idea, just gotta slow it down a little bit. Fourth turnover for Lander. Buffalo so far in the game has won. 3.51 to go here, first period. Low scoring, 3-2. to two. Lander with the lead. Here's long pass down to Patterson. Goes underneath to Engling. Engling shot his way off the mark. And on the rebound, a foul on the Tigers. That'll go against Iron Eyes. He was trying to block the pass, mm -hmm. but uh, drew the foul. And that is going to be uh, foul number one for uh, Lander. And uh, it'll be a shooting foul to the line is Angling, a junior, averaging 8.2 points a game. A couple more subs. Yep, we have uh, Brooklyn John coming back in and Peyton Bell for the Tigers. Free throw is in the air, this one's good. So we are tied uh, at the three apiece here. 3.36 to go, first period of uh, play. And uh, Brooklyn John making a move off to the left-hand wing to Noah St. Clair. Back over to John. 
John dribbling it. Now he tries to move in the paint. Stops, turns around, floater. Nice. Good. Good move. Good move. Brooklyn John with the two points and Lander back out now. Five to three. 3.15 to go here. First period to play. And now we have a hell of a ball. And it will go to the Tigers. <laughs> I like Good the hustle. hustle. Yeah, they're, they're coming out strong here right out of the gate. Well, you know, they need to do that. And that's what Coach Mullins has been uh, hoping his team will do. They've had uh, two poor starts in this uh, tournament. Uh, and let's see if we can get a good third start here. Three minutes to go in the uh, first period of play. Tigers, Brooklyn John has it on top. Tabell launches a tray that's nothing but nasty. Smoking. Peyton Bell <laughs> with a three. And the uh, Lander Tigers uh, now go up. It's uh, eight for the Tigers. I haven't been keeping the scoreboard here on the uh, streaming, but I've got it uh, current now. On the near side, there's Patterson for three to answer. No. Rebounded by St. Clair. Long pass down court to Brooklyn John. John in the paint, turns around, shot is blocked, but it's picked out of the air by Washburn. It's blocked again, and now it's another uh, attempt by the uh, Bison. They get the ball. Boy, that was a quick exchange. There was a there. lot going on there. And we have timeout on the floor by Jerry Bellmeyer, the coach of the Buffalo Bison, and we will take that timeout as well. Subs and Salads is the newest addition to Fremont County. They offer salads, sandwiches, ice cream, and lotus drinks. 381 Subs and Salads is located at 702 East Main Street in Riverton. High Plains Power is a Touchstone Energy Cooperative. What does that mean for you as a Rural Electric Association member? It all comes down to seven principles. Open membership, one voice, one vote, member benefits, independence, education, cooperation, and community. To understand how it all works, we're headed back in time. In 1879, electricity was in major cities, but rural areas were out of luck. In 1935, President FDR made it possible for companies to build power lines to unserved areas. By the time we hit 1941, some 400 electric co-ops had been organized to serve rural America, just like High Plains Power. For more information, visit highplainspower.org. Back again at the Pinedale Middle School. Lander with an 8-3 lead over Buffalo here early. We've got uh, 2.20 to go in the first period. A score from Laramie. Uh, Riverton boys lost today, Allen, 83-61 to down Ooh. in that uh, uh, Johnson uh, Memorial Tournament down in uh, Cheyenne. Buffalo with the basketball. Here's a new player that comes in and shoots and not good. That's Kai Peters. Lander gets the rebound. Talon with the rebound. All the way down to Brooklyn John. Hands it off to uh, Bell on top of the key. There's one by Talon for three. Well, he stepped into that. That's got a lot of rhythm and a good stroke. Yeah, it sure did. And the Tigers now uh, go up on our scoreboard 11 to 2. As uh, that was a great three by, uh, or 11 to three, I mean, uh, by Talon Whalen. Underneath, we've got a foul on Tigers as the, uh, as Patterson was trying to make his way into the lane and uh, ran into some interference there from Lander. Parker Sixby coming back in, uh, Keaton Ironice coming in, Brooklyn John going out, and Talon Whalen going out, and for the uh, Bison. We've got Brady Angling uh, going uh, in and Cam Johnson coming out. So Buffalo has it under the basket. There's a reverse layup that's good by uh, Patterson. And he now has four points in the uh, game and it's 11 to five game. Tigers with it, six feet in the corner. Noah St. Clair almost uh, went in just a little bit long. Rebounded by Patterson. Outlet pass comes uh, down the court to Rodriguez. And we have a foul on the floor against Rodriguez. And uh, it's going to go against um, Noah. Noah Sinclair, number 23. Second foul for Lander. Most of these games have been pretty uh, error free in, in terms of uh, fouls, Alan. Yeah, I haven't seen a lot so far. Inbounds pass back to Rodriguez from the corner. Try to three. No. Going high for the rebound, crawling the ladder that time. Keaton Iron Eyes down court to St. Clair. On the opposite side, Peyton Bell for three more. Woo. 
Peyton Bell with his second tray of the game, and it's now a 14-5 lead by the Lander Tigers. Under a minute to play here in the first uh, period of play. It goes underneath on the outside, a turnover as uh, the ball's thrown away. Uh, someone uh, expected uh, that ball to go to the left and went to the right and squirted right out of bounds. So with 43 seconds to go, Lander leading 14-5 on our wildtoday.com scoreboard. Here's Washburn, hands it off to Sixby, who loses the ball, and we have a foul, foul. gonna be yeah. on uh, Buffalo trying to get that basketball. And uh, so uh, Lander will retain the possession. It'll be Iron Eyes uh, taking it out, and the personal foul is gonna go against uh, Inhart. James Inhart, here's the inbounds pass to Peyton Bell. Dribbles in the forecourt, has the ball knocked away from him by Patterson, one on two. Patterson pulls his way into the uh, paint, but uh, the Tigers are gonna get called for a block, and it's uh, going to be uh, Peyton Bell with the foul. His first of the game, third by the uh, Tigers. At the free throw line, the big guy, Patterson. Shots good, he'll get one more. He now has five points in the game as Buffalo goes to six on the scoreboard. One more coming up, and this one is not good. And Noah St. Clair gets the rebound for the Landry Tigers. He takes it coast to coast. No, oh. not good. A little bit too strong. Ball's on the ground, picked up by Buffalo. Off to Patterson. He'll bring it down the court. Buffalo going left to right here on the court at the Pinedale Middle School. In the middle, back to Patterson. Ball's taken away by Peyton Bell. All alone, lays it up and in. Peyton Bell now with eight points in the game. He's having a heck of a first period. Oh. And there's a three-pointer that goes up right at the buzzer. Wow, that uh, makes it now 16 to nine. And I think that was number zero, wasn't it? Kai uh, Peters so, uh, yeah. that hit that. We'll be back with the second half. Lander leading here at the end of eight minutes, 16 to nine. Wild Glass wants to wish all the Lander Valley Tiger teams good luck this year. Wild Glass is locally owned and operated in Lander. They bleed green. Call or stop in today to get a quote on a window or get a quick fix on your window for a rock chip. Wild Glass is Lander. When repairs are complete after a collision, you expect your car, SUV, or truck to look like new. That's the service you'll receive at Stork Auto Body in Riverton. Professionalism and meticulous attention to detail. You can depend on Stork Auto Body, 841 Mini Web Avenue, Riverton. From the wide open spaces to the canyon near you, Wyoming.com is reaching more homes and businesses than ever before. Now it's getting even better. Wyoming.com, expanding to an area near you. Time back in here. Uh, Lander leads 16 to nine at the end of the first period of play. It would have been much better, but uh, Kai Peters hit that three right at the right buzzer at the for buzzer. Buffalo. Yep. So Buffalo will get the basketball. Luke Stenisos is uh, in the game now. Stenisos on the near side, right side, across the uh, key it goes to Rodriguez. Back to Stenisas in the uh, corner now to Johnson. Back out on top of the key. Ball's knocked out of bounds by uh, the uh, Tigers. Yep. Nice uh, job there by Peyton Bell. Jumping in the passing lane, getting your arms out. Stenisas with the ball now. Ball's knocked up in the air again. And we have a whistle and a foul on Buffalo on the uh, attempt to grab the ball back. And that uh, personal foul is going to be on uh, somebody. Can't tell, 23, I think. 20, 22. 22, okay. Luke Stenisaz gets that. So Lander will have it in the uh, backcourt, leading 16 to nine. Seven and a half minutes to go here until halftime. Brooklyn John comes in down all the way on the left-hand wing. Goes back to him now on a pass from Whalen. He's in the paint, puts up a shot. It feels good. I like nice. how he's attacking the rim there. Ah, nice shot by Brooklyn John with four points in the game now. Coming back the other way, the Buffalo Bison. There's Stenisaz off in the middle in the paint. Ball's knocked away, but they're going to call a foul on the Tigers for a reach-in. 
And uh, that's going to go. I can't tell who that was on. We're opposite the uh, team. Like number four. Number four. Okay, that is uh, Courtley Smith, or Coltrane Smith. Uh, Smith. And uh, his first uh, personal. Oh, no, it was on our four. <laughs> oh, Talon. Yeah, yeah, Talon right. Whalen. Right. I'm sorry. Wrong side. And we have an attempt at the basket. And Lander is going to be called for a blocking foul. And that's going to be Brooklyn John, I believe, that gets that foul. And uh, that is. Uh, his first? No, 22. Yeah, his first. Second personal foul on Lander at the uh, free throw line. It's the kid who hit that big three at the end of the first period. And uh, he makes it uh, good. Ty uh, Peters with that. And it uh, goes to, i uh, got to get the scoreboard back up here, to uh, the basket and the extra point uh, goes to Kai Peters. And it's 16 to 12. Tigers lead by four. Talent in the middle of the uh, lane. Shot is blocked. And there's a attempt by Washburn, and it just rolled around and rolled off the side. So Buffalo comes back, moving left to right on the floor here at the Pinedale Middle School. On top of the key, we have Zane Huber goes back over to Johnson. They're playing catch with each other here on top of the key. Back over to uh, Johnson again in the middle. There's Patterson now underneath the basket. There's a soft shot. That's up not good. Rebounded by Noah St. Clair for the Tigers. Off to uh, Peyton Bell in the corner. Brooklyn John, 4-3. <laughs> Brooklyn John, boy, that was a great Splash. wide open yep. shot for the uh, Tigers. Now leading 16, uh, 19 to 12. On our, or 21 to 12, I'm sorry. I'm behind on the scoreboard here. There's a good Down, block there, Bennett. Yeah, good block by Bennett Washburn under the uh, Buffalo basket, and it comes back out on top to Huber. Buffalo will try to set the play up again underneath Patterson, and he is uh, fouled, I think, by Washburn. Yep. Right on the floor. Yeah, right on the floor. Foul on the floor. So for Bennett, that's his first personal foul. Coach Mullins not impressed with that call. Well, you know, uh, we've had that uh, happen here uh, every once in a while. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, see, that is now the third, fourth foul on Lander. Here's the inbounds pass, goes to Peters. It's a trap. Peters in the corner. There's a long shot by Patterson for three. He now has eight points in the game. And uh, Buffalo is now up to 15 points in the game, 21 to 15. And the Tigers are called for an over and back. Well, Stu just turns his back on that one and walks down the bench. Doesn't want to say anything. No. Yeah. Okay. Uh, going out of the game now is Peters. Uh, coming back into the game is uh, Lucas Denisos. Taking it out now. Ryan Nichols. We have a few changes by the Buffalo uh, team. Uh, Buffalo Bison. Five and a half minutes to go. Lander 21 to 15 on the lead. Buffalo on the near side. Now Patterson has it on the right wing, backs his way into the corner. Underneath it goes over to Engling. He doesn't shoot. They get it back in to Stanislaus, and he doesn't get it, but there's a rebound, offensive boards, and two by the uh, Buffalo Bison. And Lander calls uh, timeout as Brady Engling uh, gets that uh, rebound and the two points, and it's now just a four-point game, 21-17. Overhead Door Company of Riverton and Lander is your premier dealer for quality windows and doors, featuring quality brands like Anderson, Colby, Larson Storm Doors, and more. Overhead Door Company is proud to support our Fremont County student athletes. Music and images in that ad from Pepsi, Pepsi Cola. <laughs> yeah, but they never say their words, so that's why we told you who it is. Brooklyn John, Lander now with a four-point lead. John brings it down to Washburn. Washburn on top of the key, looking for some help. 
Goes to Parker Sixby in the middle, but it's a turnover. Bounce pass intercepted. Shot down the end line, knocked out of bounds by the Tigers' Washburn. So Buffalo trailing by four will have it underneath the lander basket. 4.40 to go here, first half of play. Stanislaus looks to throw it in, and he does. Around the horn it goes. In the middle, ball gets away. Turnover, Buffalo. Lander will bring it down the court. Oh, and there's a long pass. Turnover, Lander, eight. Eight turnovers. Uh, they had 20 last night, uh, so uh, let's hope they're not on their way to another 20-night uh, turnover. Yeah, that's probably about enough. Yeah, Eli Patterson uh, with the basketball brings it into the forecourt. Patterson on top of the key now goes over to Huber. Huber to Stanislaw, and the ball is ticked uh, and uh, picked away by the Tigers. Good defense there. Here is Iron Eyes. Iron Eyes long pass over, and it goes out of bounds, but it's knocked away by Patterson. Boy, those long uh, half-court passes are, are kind of dangerous sometimes. Yeah, yeah, they're just, just a little bit off on those. Talon Whalen comes back into the game for the uh, Lander Tigers. Whalen to Parker Sixby as Noah St. Clair takes a little bit of a rest. Long pass on the far side, too long. Gosh darn it, and the Tigers yeah. have their ninth turnover of the first half. 4.09 uh, to go. Those long passes, sometimes, you know, you don't know where you are on the floor, and you try to go up, and you just land it out of bounds. Yeah. So here comes Cam Johnson now with the basketball for the Bison. He stops, almost traveled with the ball, on top to Ryan Nichols. Now in the middle, underneath the Patterson. Shot is blocked, but he's fouled. Good thing to get uh, Iron Eyes with that foul. Yeah. Keaton gets it. That's his uh, second personal foul. And that'll bring Eli Patterson, who has eight points in the game, to the free throw line for the Bison. And he hits that first one. So it's a three-point lead now by the Tigers. Now it's a two-point lead as uh, Patterson gets both of uh, those uh, free throws. He now has uh, 10 points in the game. Here's Iron Eyes in the corner to Brooklyn John. John brings it out midway between the two lines, dribbling it now, makes a move to the left, loses the basketball. He just walked right out of that one. Now Peyton John breaks uh, the uh, screen, gives him back underneath the basket. Oh, a traveling oh. called on Keaton Iron Eyes. Just a little slip. Just a little slip on the floor. 11th turnover already for the Tigers. 3.30 to go first half. Lander leads by two. It's 21-19. Tigers have led the entire way. In the middle, there's a play to Engling outside. Patterson for three. No, not good. Rebounded, though, by Smith for the Bison out of bounds. And it'll stay with the Bison out of bounds. So they'll take it out. 3-12 left here. First half, Lander by two, 21-19. Looking for an inbounds play, and the play gets away from him and yep. over and back. Yep. yep. And that's a turnover, and that's six turnovers. Yeah, Peyton kind of caused that. He was right in the guy's, you know, face, and he had to step back, and it tipped. Now they're having an official's discussion. We've had a lot of controversy in this tournament with over and back calls, and now they're changing They're going to change it. They're going to change it. We, this is not uncommon. We've seen a lot of this. Mm -hmm. Coach Stu Mullen is not very happy with that <laughs> change. He has both hands in his pocket, yep. standing up, not saying anything. Okay, Ryan Nichols, underneath it goes to Engling. On top, Patterson. Patterson from 10 feet. No, not good. Rebound up, not good, and a foul on the Tigers' iron eyes. I think that's going to be the third on him. He's yeah, it is. Come out. Keaton gets his third personal foul. And to the free throw line is Ryan Nichols, his first attempt at a free throw. He doesn't have any points in the game. And still doesn't. Misses it. 2.58 to go, 21-19, Lander by two. Buffalo trying to cut it by one. Parker Sixby comes into the game for Lander, and Iron Ice goes to the bench. Next shot is in the air, and this one is also not good. Nice rebound by Noah St. Clair. 
Off to Whalen, who will bring it into the forecourt on the right wing. St. Clair in the corner, hands it off to uh, Peyton Bell. Down to Whalen, to Bell on top of the arc. In the corner, Whalen for three, it's good. Callen gets his second tray of the game, and Lander now uh, goes out on uh, top here when we get oh, this. I think and, we got uh, an offensive foul. I think we have a, a foul there, player control foul against uh, the uh, Buffalo Bison. And it goes against uh, Marshall Peters, his first personal foul. Tigers have it at half court, two and a half minutes to go. Lander leading 24-19. Sixby brings it down into the forecourt, stops on top. There's Whalen for three, in and out, not good. And going for the rebound, we have a foul. I think Parker's going to get it. There was a fight for the rebound, and it is Parker Sixby that gets his first personal foul of the game. 2.20 to go now, fifth foul against Lander, so we'll go shoot free throws. With that new rule this year, uh, the... Uh, Fifth free throw or fifth foul in any quarter will result in free throws for the uh, player not making the foul. And the shot is up by Brady Engling and good. He now has uh, four points in the game. Engling eyes the hoop. Next shot is also good. So he goes up uh, now with five points in the contest and it's 24-21. Three point lead by Lander. 2.15 to go. Callum Whalen on the right side outside crosses the court off to Peyton Bell to Pixby for three. It hits the back of the iron. Not good. Rebounded though by Bell in the lane. Off to Washburn. Soft jumper there is good. Go. That's going to work. First points of the game by Bennett Washburn, and that was a real nice soft loader. 26 21, and there's a turnover by the Buffalo Bison. Tigers have a talent underneath to yeah. Washburn and and two. good. Yeah, Washburn gets fouled on the play, and he'll have the old-fashioned <laughs> three-point play coming up. Tigers go up now 28-21. And the personal foul went against uh, Colton uh, Smith. And at the free throw line is Washburn. And as opposed okay. to last night, he yeah. made this one. No yep. trouble at all. So he made the old-fashioned three-point play. Lander leads by eight. There's a block on the other side. Tigers bringing it down. Now it's tied up. Oh, that could have been. Did you see that elbow to Washburn's yeah. face? Yeah, he's looking at him. Yeah. That's a, I think that's going to be uh, an intentional maybe. That could be. He really got an elbow to the jaw, and he's trying to walk it off. And they're going to call the foul yep. on uh, Zuber. They do. <laughs> And uh, Lander will have possession of the ball. Only the third. Boy, I was really worried there. Bennett really took a he shot. He took it. He took a big shot. Yeah. Okay. And uh, here come the Tigers now. It's 6B across the timeline on top of the key. Moves to the right-hand wing corner off to Whelan. Whelan can't drive the baseline. And we have an offensive foul, player control foul on Whelan. Hmm. Uh, don't know. Well, apparently, officials saw something we didn't. Yeah. So with a minute 21 to go, Lander leads by eight. Buffalo brings the ball down the court. With it is Huber. And boy, boy, boy. We have a foul on the Tigers, and it's going to go against Parker Sixby, his second. Where did that come from? A little bit of hand action. I guess so. And Zane Huber, who hasn't scored, goes to the line and puts in a free throw. Free throws were the bugaboo for the uh, Lander Tigers last night in that, uh, that game they had against uh, Rollins. Next shot is up. This one is not good. Rebounded by Buffalo. Put back is good by uh, Eli Patterson. So he gets that. And uh, they get uh, the four-point play there, or the... It is now 24 to 29, five points. And uh, I was busy putting the score in. What happened? Yeah, there? so Noah got a traveling. They tried to feed it inside. Oh, I and see. Yeah. Kind of okay. slipped a little bit. Twelfth turnover for the Tigers. Minute to go here in the first half of play. 
Lander leading by five, 29-24 over the Buffalo Bison. Here's Patterson, brings it down court to Engling. Engling can't shoot on top. The three-point guy, no, not good. Rebounded by Brooklyn John. Brooklyn brings it all the way down the court, spins in the lane and gets fouled. Yeah. Yeah, and that was a nice move by John. Yeah, he's got a quick first step when he wants to get to the basket. He can, he can get there. And the personal foul is going to go against uh, somebody with the name with the 23. That'll be Engling. And not a shooting foul, so the Tigers have it in. Here's Talon Whalen drives the baseline. Oh, and the shot is rejected by Patterson all the way down. Soft one and a foul on the Tigers on the attempted lay-in. And the personal is, uh, are they going to go Brooklyn John on this one? I think, I think so. Yep. Can't tell. Yep. yep. Yeah, they did. So Brooklyn John now has his second foul. And at the uh, free throw line is Kai Peters. Shot is good. He'll get one more. 29-25. Now the score. 30 seconds to go here. Peters is two for two in the game from the charity stripe, and he misses that one. Rebounded by Noah St. Clair. Noah brings it down into the forecourt, hands it off to Talon Whalen, and a timeout called by Stu Mullins, and we'll take this opportunity for a timeout as well. 22 seconds to go, first half. Lander by four, 29-25. The Stock Doc is proud to serve all of Fremont County and surrounding areas. They are dedicated to providing the highest level of veterinarian medicine along with friendly and compassionate service. They service all pets of shapes and sizes between dogs and cows and cats and horses. They treat your animal like it's their own. The Stock Doc. Okay, we've got 22 seconds to go, and uh, Alan, the Tigers have the lead here by uh, four, and they'll have the basketball. Yeah, I think they're going to come out here with usually a pretty good play, probably take the last shot. Uh, it'd be nice to see them hit something at the buzzer. Yeah, it sure would be. So the uh, play is in by Stu Mullins. Tigers have it on the far side here. There's the inbounds play to Brooklyn John. John goes all the way down, has the ball knocked away in the uh, paint, and it's a turnover by the Tigers. Well, no last shot here. It, the honor goes to the Buffalo Bison. Down court, Cam Johnson underneath the basket. There's a shot up by uh, Patterson, not good. Rebounded by the Tigers, but it's too little and too late, and that's where our halftime score is uh, going to stay. It is the uh, Lander uh, Tigers here at uh, halftime 29 and the Buffalo Bison 25 and uh, we'll be back uh, with a look at the stats of the first half right after we listen to this. The choice is yours. Sutherland's Friends of the Family Plus Consumer Credit Card lets you choose from 5% off instantly at the register or special financing on qualifying purchases. That means no forms, no waiting, no rebates. You can choose 5% off instantly with your Sutherland's Credit Card. Got a big project? Choose special financing. The choice is yours with Sutherland's Friends of the Family Plus Consumer Credit Card. Subject to credit approval, minimum monthly payment required. See store for details. Only at Sutherland's. Enjoy fresh-made pizza, pasta, calzones, and subs at Perrette's, 519 West Main in Riverton. Open for lunch and dinner Monday through Friday. Closed on weekends. Call 857-7306 to order for pickup or delivery with DoorDash. Perrette's. Got this, Dad. We have the biggest and bestest selection in the area. And 172-point expectation. Our sale members are almost as smart as my dad. Ask for my Uncle Joey. He's the best. Pay hey, up. Midway when you expect the best. Job, Kate. Yeah. Your car or truck is an investment. When it needs repairs, you need someone you can trust to do the job right. Take it to Gunners Automotive. They repair all makes and models of cars and trucks, from oil changes to brakes, tires, and more. Gunners Automotive, 856-2288. 
Quality in Thermopolis offers great rates, a convenient location, standard room, and family rooms with bunk beds. Choice hotel members earn points while you stay. Quality Inn is proud to support Fremont and Hot Springs County student-athletes. Visit Lander Gambles to make your home feel like new. They will beat any competitor's price. Stop by to speak to one of the sales agents or visit LanderGambles.com. Lander Gambles will help you find the perfect product that fits your budget and lifestyle. Lander Gambles, 420 Main Street, Lander, Wyoming. For more than 60 years, RTO Point S has been installing quality tires and offering expert vehicle service in Fremont County. With two locations on South Federal and West Main in Riverton, RTO Point S is proud to support our Fremont County student-athletes. Well, let's uh, take a look at the uh, scoring for the first half for the Buffalo Bison. Uh, they have one player in double figures, and of course, that's the All-Stater, Eli Peterson. He has uh, three baskets, one tray, three for three from the line, total of 12 points here at halftime. Kai Peters uh, has uh, one tray, one basket, and two for three from the line for uh, seven points. Five points by Brady Engling. He has one basket, three for four from the line for that uh, four point, uh, five points. And Zane Huber, one for two from the line. Uh, for one point, Ryan Nichols 0 for 2 at uh, the uh, free throw line. For the uh, Lander Valley uh, Tigers, uh, tell you what, we don't have uh, anyone in double figures, but Peyton Bell, who started the game, house of fire. Yes, he did. He had like our first eight points yeah. almost. Yeah. And uh, he still has those eight points. He didn't get any in the uh, second quarter. Talon Whalen has a couple of trays for six points. Keaton Iron Eyes has a tray for uh, three points. Uh, Bennett Washburn has uh, uh, been pretty well covered by the Buffalo yeah, they're, Bison. They're setting him down. They're kitten, keeping him out of the paint. He's got five points, two baskets, one for two from the line. And Brooklyn John, uh, leading scorer, uh, second leading scorer at halftime, has one tray and two baskets for a total of uh, seven points. The uh, Tigers have been to the free throw line once and they hit one out of two free throws. But look at over here. Two, four, six, eight, nine free throws completed, yeah. successful completed yeah. by Buffalo. And then we have uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 attempts. So um, uh, whistles going uh, Buffalo's way here in the first half. Yeah, that's uh, that's. You know, you, you throw those free throws in and then that three-pointer that they hit at the end of the first quarter. Yeah, <laughs> really. They're, that's what's keeping them in the game right now. Well, the Tigers are being much more aggressive uh, tonight than they were yesterday, and that's resulting in more whistles against them. Yeah, they are. They are. And, and I think what, what I think what Coach is going to want to see out of the Tigers on offense is to get more fouled, get fouled more, get to the basket more, um, and, uh, and get – shooting some free throws themselves. That's what cost the game against Rollins last night. The Tigers just didn't have any free throws, and Rollins had 15 yeah. that uh, they completed. And, uh, of course, Rollins is a pretty good team, though. I'm not going to take anything <laughs> away from yeah. the Outlaws. No, they, they, they were good. They but were they good. had their shots from the free throw line, and uh, that was the difference in the game as Lander lost uh, by uh, 10 points uh, last night. We'll be back with more from the Pinedale Middle School. Lander 29 and Buffalo 25 on our yotoday.com Ranger Printer scoreboard. Back after this. Head to Nana's Bowling and Bakery in Dubois for Family Fun Night. Now booking parties for all ages and occasions. To reserve your company, family, or birthday party, call 455-3660. Nana's Bowling and Bakery is proud to support Fremont County student athletes. If you're planning home improvement projects, look no further than Valley Lumber. They provide nothing but the best from lumber, power tools, hardware, paint, plumbing supplies. If you need it, they have it. Valley Lumber at 290 North 2nd Street in Lander. Shoshone Rose Casino and Hotel is proud to support youth sports in Fremont County. Enjoy a meal at the Deca Guy He restaurant. Deca Guy He is Shoshone for the Eating House. Open daily from 7.30 a.m. until 9 p.m. Try a weekend getaway with the family in one of their comfortable, pet-friendly guest rooms and enjoy the heated swimming pool. Book online at ShoshoneRose.com and remember to support Fremont County youth sports. Go team! 
Do you need a midday pick-me-up? Lander Coffee Company serves delicious, fresh roasted coffee, tea, and other drinks. Come to think of it, why not start your day with their quick, healthy breakfasts, like one of their famous acai bowls, or maybe a breakfast burrito? Just need a quick snack? They got you. Stop by, fuel up, and enjoy at 1255 Main Street in Lander at the Lander Coffee Company. Service Plumbing in Riverton serves all of Fremont County for both new construction and repairs. For a bid on your next plumbing project, bring your plans to Service Plumbing, 201 Webwood Road in Riverton. Service Plumbing, proud to support our Fremont County athletes. You need an oil change, but you don't have a lot of time. Expressway Lubes on South Federal in Riverton and Highway 789 in Lander provide a fast, professional lube oil and filter change. Expressway Lubes, locally owned and proud to support our local student-athletes. Ernie over and Alan Mullins back at uh, the Pinedale Middle School where we have uh, Lander with a, a lead of four points here at halftime, uh, Alan, uh, 29 uh, to uh, 25. And uh, the interesting thing about the uh, Tigers, we mentioned it just a little bit, they're being a little more aggressive today than they have been in the previous couple of games. Yeah, they have. I think, uh, you know, they're playing their zone, but they're trapping out high and uh, trying to take those passing lanes away, and they're just getting after the ball. Loose balls, you know, that sort of thing. So they are getting called, uh, but those, a lot of those are hustle fouls. Yeah, that, and that's what the coach wants to see. He wants to see more hustle out there, and I think uh, they've got it. We're down to about a minute and 15 to go here before we start the uh, second half. Again, a short recap. Uh, the uh, Tigers are led in uh, scoring uh, by uh, Peyton Bell with eight. Brooklyn John has uh, seven, uh, five points by uh, Bennett Washburn, three by Keaton Iron Eyes, and six by uh, Talon uh, Whalen. On the other side, the All-Stater, Eli Patterson, has uh, 12 points. He leads all scores. And boy, I tell you what, he's tough to shut out underneath yeah. the basket. Yeah, he's just very active and very nimble. And yeah, he's a, he's a good player. Yeah. Well, the uh, teams are uh, with their respective uh, coaches on the sideline. We're getting ready for the final 16 minutes of the game. Third quarter coming up here in uh, Pinedale. And I think the sun's starting to go down. And we're not seeing too much sun coming through these skylights uh, anymore. Nope. And it was in the low 20s most of today in, in Pinedale. So it was a little on the chilly side here. But uh, no uh, snow coming down. So that was a good thing. Well, we're ready to go. Tigers are going to go with Bennett Washburn, Parker Sixby, Talon, Talon Whalen, Keaton Iron Eyes, and uh, Brooklyn John out there. And uh, Zane Huber uh, is going to be out uh, for the Buffalo Bison in the middle of the Stanislaw. Now underneath it goes Patterson. He lost the ball. Turnover, Buffalo. They're eighth all the way. Brooklyn John, two points on the land. That's how you get started. <laughs> That's how you get started. And Brooklyn uh, got that up there. But you get the scoreboard back up on our screen here. 31 now, 25. Lander with the lead. There's the ball almost stolen away. Three-pointer from on top of the key is not good. Rebounded under the basket by Buffalo. Shots up, not good. And the rebound goes to the good Tigers. Hustle. Good hustle. And uh, they say it. Uh, didn't happen fast enough. So yep. Sixby's uh, attempt uh, was just a little bit short. So Buffalo keeps the ball. Inbound pass. There's Patterson. Brings it out on the corner to Huber. Back on the near side. Cam Johnson shots. Not good. But Bennett Washburn comes away with the rebound for the Tigers. Off to Parker Sixby into the forecourt. He moves to the right-hand side. Hands the ball off to Whalen. Whalen to Keaton Iron Eyes. Iron Eyes back to Sixby for it. three. Got it. Yeah, Parker Sixby with his first points of the uh, game. That's a timeout. And timeout now by the uh, Buffalo Bison. And it goes Lander, 34, nine point lead. Buffalo, 25. Back after this. The staff and board at the Fremont County Fair wish to thank everyone who attended the fair this year. Whether you enjoyed family day, a night event, entered a craft show, or showed your livestock, thank you for all your efforts. We'll be moving and grooving next year, so stay tuned.
Okay, back again at uh, Pinedale Middle School. Uh, we didn't catch if that was a 30 or 60. Apparently it's a 60. Looks like it. Lander with a nine-point lead, and quickly Buffalo called timeout. 6.58 to go here, period uh, three. Uh, Tigers are up 34 to uh, 25. And Lander looking a little bit uh, sharper than they have the first two games. Boy, they have. They've come out on offense, uh, you know, looking to run their offense and they're pretty sharp there. And, and then obviously that defense is causing some turnovers. Yeah, well, that's uh, what uh, Coach Stu Mullins was wanting was a little more aggression. And uh, he's getting it here in this uh, in this game. See if we can put another good quarter together here. Yeah. In the backcourt, Buffalo, oh, almost an over and back that time. Uh, Darian Herford, uh, I'm, not so, I'm sorry, it's uh, Cam Johnson with the ball. Now over to Huber, Huber to Patterson underneath the basket. Now on top of the key for Peter is his shot. No, not good. Fight for the rebound and we have a held ball and it'll go to the Tigers. Well, that time Talon didn't try to wrestle yeah. the ball away, I, which was good. good. Yeah, that's good. He just held on to it and the uh, Tigers get it. So Lander leading 34-25, six and a half minutes to go, period three. Tigers with the ball in the forecourt. Talon Wayland over to Brooklyn John. John now on the right wing, kicks it back out on top of the key. Whalen makes a move toward the basket, turns around, gives it off to Iron Eyes. And Whalen almost falls down on the play. He gets it to, from Iron Eyes. Now he makes a move to the left over to 6B for three. No, Ooh. not good. Just a little too short. Patterson with the rebound as the Bison come back down this way. Off to Zane Huber. You know, they're going to get caught on that over and back. They are. That's going to happen. That's going to happen. There's a shot up and good by Cam Johnson. His first points of the game. And it's 34-27. Tigers up by seven. I think Landry will let him shoot those shots all they want. Those long two-pointers. Yeah, those, aren't, uh, those are not that damaging for the Pokes. For the Pokes, for the Tigers. Oh, Talon Whalen. Splash. Did you see that? It did not even move the, <laughs> the net. net. The net Amazing. Is, it's still just solid. It's still just <laughs> right down where it should have been. Lander, 37-27, 10 point lead by the Tigers. Buffalo looking on the far side, can't shoot in the corner, brings it out on top is Johnson. Johnson to Huber. Huber back over on the near side to Cam Johnson. Now there's Campbell with a short shot that's good. Or I'm sorry, Patterson, not Campbell. Two points uh, for the uh, Wyoming All-Star. And again, an eight-point lead here by the Lander Tigers. It's uh, 37 to, uh, if I can get this thing to work here, 29. There yep. we go. Here comes Talon. He drives in the baseline and a player control foul. And that will be Talon's third. Yeah, he's going to have to come out, I think. Yeah, and he does. Uh, well, coming in is uh, Peyton Bell. He's still in the game. Yeah, there's yeah. Noah. Coming Noah St. Clair coming in for Talon. Yeah, you know, when you get that speed and acceleration, you know, you, you just can't crash into someone yeah. in the middle of the lane. You got to jump stop. You got to move around him. Uh, stop and put that ball in the basket. Here's now Peters. Peters. Across the timeline on the far side to Johnson. Johnson on top of the key, bounces it in the middle. Back over on the far side. There's a floating one-hander. Up, off, not good, knocked out of bounds. Oh, they're going to give it to uh, Buffalo. I sure thought that uh, yeah. 32, 32 Rodriguez that right out. had that uh, ball knocked out of bounds. So there's Rodriguez in the middle. Ball gets away, shots up. Good for three. Gosh darn it, that was Kai Peters again, and yeah. that is his uh, second uh, three, and that uh, ball should have been Landers, but uh, be that as it may, here's St. Clair on top of the key, over to Peyton Bell. Bell stop. oh, he's there's knocked the to the ground, yeah. and the Tiger teammates come over to pick him up, and uh, uh, that's interesting. Kai Peters is complaining about the call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when he knocked Bell to the ground. Here's the inbounds uh, pass. It goes That's to uh, St. Clair. St. Clair in the forecourt on the left-hand side. Blocking foul, and he gets knocked to the ground. This will be a foul on Brady Engling. Well, Buffalo getting a little physical here. Yeah, they're Alan. trying to change the tempo up. 
Yep, 404 to go halfway through the third. Lander leads by five, 37 32. Now, coming back into the game is Eli Patterson and uh, going to sit down as Engling. Tigers have the ball. Here's Sixby for three. Got it. Nothing but net. Parker Sixby with his second prey of this quarter, and it's now 40 to 32. Again, an eight point lead by the Tigers. Ball's on the ground. They're trying to get rid of it. Still on the ground. Now, picking it up is Peters for Buffalo. And he goes over to Patterson in the middle to Johnson. Now Patterson drives the baseline, lays it up and in. Nice drive by Eli Patterson. Yep. And uh, it is uh, 40 to 34, six point lead. Three and a half minutes to go here for the Tigers in period number three. Keaton Iron Eyes has it, drives it to the baseline, gives it off to Noah St. Clair. St. Clair on top, another three attempt. Go! by six feet. Let's keep shooting those, Parker. Yeah, let's keep going those. Parker with three straight three-pointers here in the uh, third period, and it's a nine-point game, 43-34. Here's Peters on top of the key. Comes on the near side to Nichols. Back over to Peters. There's the ball knocked in the air. Peters gets it right back. Underneath the basket, it goes to Rodriguez. Rodriguez can't get away with it. He heaves it across the line, and there's a three-pointer by Peters. He just heaved that up. I yeah. didn't think that had a chance in the world, and it went right in. 43-37, two and a half minutes to go in the third period. Peyton Bell brings it down for the Tigers, off to Iron Eyes, to Sixby for another one. Oh, this one didn't go. He had three in a row. Heat check. Yep, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> There's a and a traveling. He does that a lot. Yeah, and that is the ninth turnover for the Bison. 2.15 to go here in the third period. Lander 43, Buffalo 37. And there's the inbounds pass to Sixby. Brings it into the forecourt. Now to Washburn on the high post here. Back over to Sixby. He thought about a three. Goes in the middle of the lane. Knocked out of bounds by uh, Patterson. <laughs> yeah, I forgot his name there for a second. <clears throat> Coming back into the game is Zane Huber for the Bison, and uh, going out is Kai Peters, who's had those three threes for the Bison. Inbounds to Peyton Bell on top to back to six B. No, not there good. You go, rebound. Bennett. There and you go. Bennett get, got the rebound, and he got and the, they foul. the foul. Yep. Well, I tell you what, that sometimes will happen. Yep. And uh, for uh, Bennett, that's foul number two. Buffalo to bring it down slowly, still in the forecourt, or in the backcourt. That's a try. <laughs> yeah. Ryan Nichols with it now. Over to uh, Huber. Back to Nichols to Huber. He looked like he wanted to take the three, but didn't on top of the key to Nichols. Drives the paint line, travel. traveled with the ball. Yeah. Yay. So we get a turnover with a minute and a half to go. 43-37, Tigers up by six. Tigers playing well today. They are, yep. It'd be good to see them put together a full four quarters here, too. Here's Bell. Oh, bad pass. Intercepted. 14th turnover. Underneath, shots up, off, not good. Tip is good. Cam Johnson got the tip, and now it's a four point game. Four or five point. Uh, no, 39. Yeah, that's right. Yep. 43, four 39, four point game. Here's Iron Eyes off the glass. He draws the foul. Foul on Cam Johnson will be his second. And uh, that is the only the uh, third team foul against Buffalo, so, but it is a shooting foul. So Keaton goes to the free throw line for free throws. His first trip to the charity stripe today is way short. Hit the front of the rim. Parker Sixby coming back into the game. Peyton Bell going out. And the second free throw by Iron Eyes. 63 seconds to go here in the third is nothing but net. Okay. And we have uh, Brooklyn John coming back into the Lander lineup for Iron Eyes. 44-39, Lander with the uh, lead. 
Buffalo brings the ball down court. Patterson in the backcourt now. Goes over to Nichols. Nichols on the near side to Johnson. Johnson over uh, to uh, Huber. Huber looking for some help. He gets it from Ryan Nichols. Now underneath, there's a shot up off, not good. Nice rebound by Talon Whalen for the Tigers with 37 seconds. Down court, Noah St. Clair with it. Noah drives the baseline, short, short. jumpers, too short. Not a little, uh, not enough oomph on that one. 25 seconds to go, down court. Martin Rodriguez has it underneath the basket. Oh, that was a travel. Yeah. Yeah, he got away with it. They didn't call it, and the ref was right there. Let's get this final shot here. Okay, here comes Brooklyn John. We've got 10 seconds to go. Brooklyn John all the way down. On top of the key, 6B for three. No, a little bit uh, too long as 6B hits the floor. That's the end of the third period of uh, play. And after three, it's the uh, Lander Tigers 44 and the... Uh, Buffalo Bison, 39. And we'll be right back with uh, more Tiger basketball right after this. Wyoming Waste hopes that all Fremont County sports teams dismiss their opponents like Wyoming Waste dismisses your trash. They offer services from roll-off cans, commercial, and residential garbage. Wyoming Waste Services, Fremont County, Hot Springs County, Washakie County. They are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Please call 307-856-5354 or stop down at the Riverton office, 730 South Broadway. Wyoming Waste wants to wish everyone in Fremont County good luck in their sports this year. We're out here at a branding today, and there's a lot of hazards going on, and a lot of times you don't have control of that type of an environment. The agricultural industry has a lot of hazards in it. We jump in a vehicle, we run down the road five miles, 10 miles, and most accidents happen within 10 miles of where you live. And so there's really no excuse not to wear your seatbelt, even though it is a short distance, you need to wear your seat belt in order to preserve uh, your health and your family's well-being at the end of the day. The seat belt. Okay, we're going to break into that. Uh, and uh, the game is uh, resuming now. Fourth quarter, eight minutes to go, and a traveling call again. That's the 11th turnover by uh, Buffalo. The Tigers have uh, 14, so they're doing much better uh, today. Tigers will get the ball. Brooklyn John. Walks it into the forecourt on the right-hand wing. Gives some direction now to Noah St. Clair. Moves him underneath to Washburn all alone. Shot's good. Bennett with a great uh, basket there. And that was a good setup by the yeah, uh, Tigers yep. as uh, they got him ready and uh, all alone under there. That's exactly what they wanted to do. Yep, 46-39 now. Buffalo brings the ball back. Huber underneath to Patterson. He's blocked out of the... Uh, a baseline, there's a long three that's in and out and not good. Patterson rebounds it for Buffalo and he's fouled. Probably not a bad foul. Well, you know, it's better to get a foul and maybe a missed free throw than yep. two Just solid points. 7.15 to go, 46-39. Tigers with the lead. Patterson going to the line. He's three for three from the free throw line and now three for four. Missed that one. Coming out of the game is Rodriguez, and coming back into the game is Cam Johnson for Buffalo. Next shot is up, and this one goes in. So it's a six-point lead for the Tigers, 46 to 40. Seven minutes, 10 seconds to go in the game. Hallen gets the, uh, or Talon gets the handoff, and then there's a tip and a turnover by the Tigers. And down court, there's Cameron underneath to Patterson. He's fouled and won. So the Tigers pick up a foul, and it goes 42 to 46, a four-point lead. And uh, Patterson can make it a three-point game, and he does. Hits another free throw. So a little spurt here by Buffalo. Landers got to be a little bit sharper on their passing to yep. prevent those turnovers. Here's Washburn on top off to 6B. Parker drives on the left-hand side off to Talon Whalen back up. Uh, 
Sixby on top. He doesn't uh, take the shot. Back over to Whalen. Whalen on top of the arc now off to uh, Noah St. Clair in the lane. Underneath to Washburn. Washburn can't shoot. Pulls it out to Noah St. Clair. Noah's there in the goes. lane. There he Lay goes. Up. Good. There he goes. Uh, and a timeout. A, a timeout now called, and Lander goes up 48 to 43. We'll be right back after this. Individually, and you're in control of that. So uh, there's not a lot of excuses for not wearing your seatbelt. For a place, a people, an idea for right and freedom, for liberty and justice for all. For every square inch between fruited plains and spacious skies, Marines fight to win. See all the battles Marines fight to win at Marines.com. If your vehicle... Back again at the Pinedale Middle School, Lander up 48 to 43, and uh, 6 uh, 22 to go here in the game. Lander's five point lead, and the Tigers took that quick, uh, that quick timeout. And uh, Buffalo coming out now. Buffalo will have the ball in the backcourt. Lander putting on some half court pressure here as Washburn is up. Huber gets the ball. Over to Johnson. Back to Huber. Huber on the far side outside to Johnson. Outside the arc on the wing. Huber looked like he wanted to shoot the three, but didn't. Back on top. Now around the corner it goes. There's a shot by Patterson. That's good for three. Oh, my goodness. Great shot. And it's now a two-point game as uh, Patterson uh, gets another three. And the Tigers having trouble getting it across the timeline. There they do. Washburn has it underneath to Noah St. Clair. And we have a blocking foul, foul yep. underneath. And it's on Kai Peters, his first. <laughs> 23 points now in the game by Patterson, the All-Stater. <laughs> Yeah, that three hurt there that time. Here's Noah St. Clair in the paint. Ball's knocked away. Picked up by uh, Brooklyn John underneath. Well, that was a, I don't know what he was trying to yeah. do there. Though I think the ball got away from him. Yeah. Another turnover for the Tigers. That's uh, number uh, 16. A two-point game, five and a half minutes to go. Buffalo coming back. There's Huber underneath. Goes over to Peters. His floater is not good. The tip is good. Oh, what a nice play that was by Engling. And our score is tied. Tigers kind of come back now, settle yeah, down. Five settle minutes down to here. go in the here game. Here comes the pressure. Yep. Buffalo putting on full court pressure. Here's Talon Whalen off to Brooklyn John on the right wing. He kicks it back to Talon. Talon dribbling now across. The key off to Sixby. Sixby in the lane underneath the Washburn. Oh, and no foul called. And uh, the basket didn't go, of course. A lot of contact down there. I guess they're letting them play a little bit. A little bit. Here's Patterson with the ball for Buffalo. Tie score at 48. Off to Cam Johnson. Four and a half minutes to go. Patterson on top to Huber. Huber underneath, there's a shot by Peters. No, not good. Follow-up is good. And that is Brady Engling who gets the follow-up. And for the first time tonight, Buffalo's got the lead, 50 to 48. Tigers. All right, let's see what these Tigers got. Let's see what they've got. It's gut check time for yep. Lander. Here's Talon Whalen. Talon drives the baseline, spins, shoots, scores. Nice one on a move inside the paint, and we're tied again at 50. Well, not again at 50, but we're tied <laughs> at tied 50. Yep. And oh. the ball rolls out of bounds, and it'll stay with Buffalo on the far side. 3.38 to go. 
getting a little uh, on the exciting side here. It is. Allen. Yeah, they're both teams playing playing hard on D and trying to get, get those turnovers created. Nichols comes into the game for Buffalo. Iron Eyes comes into the game for Lander. Here now is Peters on top of the key around to Cam Johnson on top. Back over to Peters in the middle. A little soft jumper is good. That's the second time and Engler has now six points in this quarter. And has put Buffalo back out on top by two. Here's Talon Whalen. Over to Sixby. Sixby on the near side. Drives to baseline. Can't penetrate. Gives it off to Whalen just before the timeline. Three minutes to go in the game now. Coach Sue yelling some instructions to the Tigers. There's Washburn over to St. Clair. St. Clair to Whalen. Queen Clair now on That's the right the hand shot. side. What's that? <laughs> no. I was just saying that was the shot we wanted. That was the shot. And there's a turnover by the Tigers. 17th turnover, 52-50, Buffalo with the lead. Underneath the basket, balls knocked away, and we have a foul on the floor against the Tigers, and it is going to go against Bennett Washburn. And uh, for Bennett, that's foul number three. It's only the uh, third foul against the Tigers this period. Inbounds, there's a shot up, bouncing around, and down it goes. And that was uh, Ryan Nichols that got that shot. Now it's a four-point lead by Buffalo. Here's Whalen on the outside to Sixby. Back to Whalen. Whalen moves it. Well, oh, there's a mismatch. Underneath, yeah. yeah. Washburn has got a foot advantage on the guy guiding him, guarding him. Whalen out on top now for the uh, Tigers whistle. Yep, and zero. we have a foul on uh, Peters, his second against Washburn. That'll be the second foul against Buffalo. Won't be a shooting foul, so the Tigers will take it out. Two minutes, 11 seconds to go, and Buffalo has fought back to take the lead. Here's Iron Eyes now for the uh, Tigers. Better hurry. Inbounds to Sixby. Good inbounds play there. Parker over to Talon. Talon on the left side outside. Dribbles it across the key to Sixby. Sixby drives the baseline. And he is fouled. And he's shooting. Yeah, he'll be shooting. That was the shooting foul. And so Sixby has a chance to get the Tigers a little bit closer here. And that was the third foul on Peters. So Parker at the line is his first free throw, and it's good. First free throw today, Lander 51, Buffalo 54. Next shot coming up. And he drills it. So Parker gets both of them, and again, it's a two-point game, 54-52. Buffalo with the lead, under two minutes to go in the game now. McFadden with, or not, I'm sorry, that's that Ryan tough. Nichols. Nichols gives it off to Johnson. Back on top of the key to Huber. Huber dribbling the ball. Bounce pass now. Left-hand side, far outside shot. Underneath it goes. There's a shot up, and it is not good. Rebound. Tip is not good. And on a the foul back. Yep. over the back against Buffalo. And Lander will have the ball with a minute 30 to go, trailing by two. And that uh, foul is going to go against Patterson. That's his first foul of the game. The all state is. <laughs> yep. And here comes the uh, Tigers now. They have four fouls. So the next foul on Buffalo, Lander will be shooting two. Whalen in the middle, shoots up, off, not good. And uh, we have two players on the floor. They help each other up. Washburn for Lander. Now Buffalo has it with a minute, eight seconds to go. And they're taking their time. Zane Huber has the ball knocked away from him. He gets it over to Campbell. Campbell back over to Zuber. Nichols has it now. In the corner it goes. Cam Johnson can't shoot. And around the horn now for the Buffalo Bison. 50 seconds to go in the game. With it is Nichols. Nichols in the middle. Back outside. Long shot for three. Is not good. Rebound underneath and a foul on the rebound the against ground. Lander. Yeah. And it was against Bennett, I think. Let's see what they say. Well, I can't read his signal. His back is to us. 
and it uh, goes against. That was yeah, on, no, it was uh, on uh, Noah St. Clair. Noah, yeah. And that's his third personal foul. Next foul, they'll be shooting. Yeah, next foul on either team will be shooting. 40 seconds to go. Inbounds. There's a shot from the corner. Peters for three. Oh, my goodness. It is now 57 to 52. Tigers find themselves down by five. There's a shot from the corner by Iron Eyes. Rebounded by St. Clair. His shot is good. Noah gets the basket, and it is uh, still uh, the Tigers down by three, 57 to 54 with 20 seconds to go. Let's hold it right here, Alan. Yeah. Uh, the Tigers were playing really well through the first three and a half quarters, and then the Buffalo changed their uh, offensive. They became much more aggressive, and uh, that forced the Tigers into some costly turnovers. Yeah, that's exactly right. I think they turned up turned up the heat and uh, wanted to change the tempo and they did and uh, so yeah Lander's, so, Lander's going to need to play some tough D here hopefully not and not foul not foul because if they, if they uh, foul it'll be two free throws automatically yeah for uh, Buffalo as we're now at five fouls for or four fouls for the quarter 20 seconds to go an exciting game here in uh, Pinedale as the Tigers looking for their second win of the tournament which would be nice if they could go home two and one yes here's the inbounds pass and double teamed on the far side gets away and the tigers oh. are complaining underneath the basket campbell for no he misses rebound goes to uh, buffalo buffalo has it on the far side and there's the foul oh, that's he stepped bad. out of bounds He's, over there yeah, and yep. the entire lander team was up in the air yep Stu's gonna get a t <laughs> he is staring that guy down yeah well it's seven oh. seconds to go they did not call the out of bounds and cam johnson goes up and the foul is going to be called on parker sixby his third at the line shot is good Cam Johnson gets his first free throw, has five points, and it's a four-point lead with seven seconds to go. This could be the nail right here, and it is. So two points, 59-54. The we'll layup is good Timeout. by Peyton Bell, and uh, he gets his 10th point of the game, and it goes uh, now just a, uh, a three-point lead. But there's only two seconds to go, Alan. Yeah. And that three-point difference is that half-court shot yep. that they made at the end of the first quarter. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. That, uh, that uh, Kai Peters hit that one right at the end of the uh, first half of play. And uh, now it's a three-point lead by Buffalo with two seconds to go. We're going to keep it right here as uh, the Tigers are discussing uh, what can we do if they foul right away. <laughs> Without time going off the clock, uh, there's a possibility Buffalo would miss. Lander would get the rebound. Uh, no, there'll be two shots, so mm -hmm. they have to miss twice. Got to miss them both. Yeah, three-point lead, so it's a one-possession game if it's a three-pointer, and if uh, there's one more point on the board for Buffalo, it's a two-possession game. But the Tigers have fought really hard today. They have. It's this, you know, it's a good and again yeah, another good team and uh, good effort and. Just a couple of little things. They'll they'll get it fixed. Yeah, Stu kept his calm over there, and now there's another timeout on the floor. Well, we're going to take a break this time. 30-second uh, timeout. We'll and be on the crew at Extra Care Auto Repair. They can repair almost anything with wheels, gas, diesel, domestic, or import, and their work is top quality and reliable. Extra Care Auto Repair on North Federal in Riverton. Community Health Centers of Central Wyoming has locations across Fremont County ready to serve you at Dubois Medical Clinic, Riverton Community Health, and Lander Community Health Pediatrics. We accept all forms of insurance, including Medicaid and Medicare. Are you struggling to get medical care? Ask for their sliding fee scale from Family Medicine. Okay, here's the game. Buffalo to take it out of bounds. There's the inbounds pass and immediately a foul, but there's only... Well, they put more time on yeah, the they clock. Did put, they yeah, put, yep. there's three seconds left now. All right. I didn't see them putting more time on the clock. No, no. But unfortunately, it back down to two. <laughs> now it's back down to two. The guy they filed, fouled is Eli Patterson. 
So uh, Patterson with uh, 23 points in the game. He has the chance for the nail. 59-56. Missed it. All right, here we go. One All right. More. One more miss, and the Tigers have a slim chance. Shot is in the air. It's good. So he gets the uh, basket with 30 seconds to go. Long three-pointer just is too short. And the final score is 60 for the uh, Buffalo uh, Bison as they uh, come up uh, and defeat the Lander Tigers. Final score for uh, Lander is uh, 56. So the Tigers come up with, uh, let's see, uh, 16 uh, points in the final period. No, that's not right. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 18 points in that uh, final period, but it's not enough. And the Tigers fall to the uh, Buffalo uh, Bison by a score of 60 to 56 in this uh, final game of the Pinedale Winter Classic. And we'll be back with our wrap up right after we listen to this. Health centers are here to serve you. Call 307-463-7160 or visit chccw.org to schedule your appointment. B&M Septic and Excavation offers prompt professional service. Call them today for a quote at 850-2200. They serve far and wide across Fremont County and deep. B&M Septic and Excavation is proud to support Fremont County sports. Your tax pros at 672 West Main Street in Lander, Wyoming can handle all your tax needs. Whatever your situation, we know what to do. Call 307-856-2256 today to schedule an appointment. H&R Block is open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. A proud sponsor of this broadcast is Bailey Enterprises. For over 50 years, Bailey has become the name you can trust. With pit stop travel centers, you can fuel up and stock up on trip snacks at locations all over Fremont County. You can also put your trust in Bailey Tire and Auto for service to keep handy for those times when your luck runs out on the road. Refresh at the Speedway Cafe with a dine-in meal or a round of carry-out with a variety of specials to keep you going. Go with Bailey. Riverton Blowdorn Lumber is proud to support youth sports. Experience the Blowdorn difference. Quality products, design, delivery, and expert service. Blowdorn Lumber, 1202 North Federal in Riverton. Blowdorn Lumber. The 381 Subs and Salads is the newest addition to Fremont County. They offer salads, sandwiches, ice cream, and lotus drinks. 381 Subs and Salads is located at 702 East Main Street in Riverton. High Plains Power is a Touchstone Energy Cooperative. What does that mean for you as a Rural Electric Association member? It all comes down to seven principles. Open membership, one voice, one vote, member benefits, independence, education, cooperation, and community. To understand how it all works, we're headed back in time. In 1879, electricity was in major cities, but rural areas were out of luck. In 1935, President FDR made it possible for companies to build power lines to unserved areas. By the time we hit 1941, some 400 electric co-ops had been organized to serve rural America, just like High Plains Power. For more information, visit highplainspower.org. Well, Alan Mullins uh, back uh, with 30 over here at uh, the uh, Pinedale Middle School. They don't uh, waste any time turning things down here, do they? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they'll leave the lights on a little Hopefully longer. they'll leave the lights on a little bit. Uh, you know, the Tigers uh, got uh, three good quarters. Uh, today, uh, not four yet. They haven't played the complete game. And uh, Buffalo, when uh, they uh, started uh, playing much more physical there in the beginning of the fourth period, it paid off for them uh, as they made more Lander turnovers. Lander ended up with 17 turnovers today, three under their average. So I guess that's a good thing. Buffalo themselves had 11 uh, turnovers. But the uh, Tigers were outscored 21 to 18 in that uh, fourth period of play. And that's what led to our final of uh, 60 to uh, 
56. Here the Tigers go down by four. They beat the Warland Warriors in this tournament in the first game on Friday night. Then they lose two here on uh, Saturday in a couple of really uh, tough games. That game this morning against Rollins, the uh, Tigers were down by 30. And they came back to single digits but lost by 10, 69-59. So, you know, we, as we talked with Coach Mullins after that Rollins game, there was no quit in the Tigers. They came right back. You know, that's the thing I think he's got to be happy with is, is uh, they've, they've lost some tough games, but they've been in them. They've played hard all the way through. And at some point, that'll, that'll start turning f for them in, in their favor. Well, you know, um, we've got uh, a swing over to Western Wyoming uh, this coming week. Uh, the Tigers are going to play over in Jackson. And uh, that'll be a tough game against uh, another 4A opponent. Yep. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be a good test again. But, uh, you know, looking at the, the way that we're, we're matching up some of these other games, you know, I think uh, once we're into that, into that conference season, it, who knows? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> who knows? Well, the Tigers are now two and seven on the uh, the season. I remember back in 1968, we were one and seven uh, when we started conference play and won the state championship. So anything is possible. It is. It yeah, is. It really yeah. is. Okay, we'll be back with our scoring roundup individually right after we listen to this on the Click It or Ticket post game show here on KFCW, streaming at YO Today YouTube. Wyo Glass wants to wish all the Lander Valley Tiger teams good luck this year. Wyo Glass is locally owned and operated in Lander. They bleed green. Call or stop in today to get a quote on a window or get a quick fix on your window for a rock chip. Wyo Glass is Lander. When repairs are complete after a collision, you expect your car, SUV, or truck to look like new. That's the service you'll receive at Stork Auto Body in Riverton. Professionalism and meticulous attention to detail. You can depend on Stork Auto Body, 841 Miniweb Avenue, Riverton. From the wide open spaces to the canyon near you, Wyoming.com is reaching more homes and businesses than ever before. Now it's getting even better. Wyoming.com, expanding to an area near you. Back again at uh, the Pinedale uh, Middle School where the uh, uh, Buffalo Bison have defeated Lander 60-56. to 56. And I have to stand corrected here. I got our schedule wrong. We played Lyman next Thursday night in Lander. In so Lander. we'll have a uh, home game Thursday night against Lyman. Uh, Lyman and then uh, go on the road uh, to uh, play uh, Jackson. And we might have a couple of bonus games for you here uh, uh, this uh, week, too. I think uh, we're making uh, plans right now to cover Shoshone and uh, Wind River. And uh, that's always a great uh, county classic uh, to do that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Well, let's take a look now at our scoring, first of all, for the Buffalo Bison. And, of course, uh, the big guy that uh, Coach uh, Mullins talked about uh, in our postgame show against uh, Rollins, uh, Eli Patterson, came through big time. He averages 10.2 points a game. He had 28 tonight. Just uh, an awesome performance by Eli Patterson, and he had a couple of threes. He hit uh, all but two of his free throws. Let's see, that was he was six of eight from the uh, free throw line, and you know that's what you have to do to win games. Uh, hit him from the free throw line. Also in double figures was that young man that. Uh, broke our hearts there at the end of the first <laughs> period and of the first half when yes. he hit that tray at the buzzer. Uh, Kai Peters uh, had the 16 points, including four three-pointers, uh, one basket, two for three from the free throw line. Also in double figures, Brady Ed, uh, Engling for the um, uh, Buffalo uh, Bison. He had 11 points. He had four field goals. And uh, he had three for four from the free throw line. Six points, Cam Johnson, two field goals, two for three from the line. Two points by Ryan Nichols. He was zero for two from the line. And we had one point by Zane Huber, one for two from the uh, free throw line. And we'll be back with the uh, Lander Tiger uh, statistics right after this. Overhead. Door Company of Riverton and Lander is your premier dealer for quality windows and doors, featuring quality brands like Anderson, Colby, Larson Storm Doors, and more. Overhead Door Company is proud to support our Fremont County student athletes.
The Stock Doc is proud to serve all of Fremont County and surrounding areas. They are dedicated to providing the highest level of veterinarian medicine along with friendly and compassionate service. They service all pets of shapes and sizes between dogs and cows and cats and horses. They treat your animal like it's their own. The Stock Doc. Okay, uh, Alan, let's uh, take a look at uh, how the Lander Tigers uh, did in this uh, game uh, this afternoon. And again, we had three players in double figures. Not high double figures, uh, but there were three they got players. There. Yep. Uh, Peyton Bell, who scored almost the first eight points of the game, uh, was quiet until the fourth quarter when he got his 10th point. All of his uh, points were from the field. He had two field goals and he had uh, two threes to uh, start uh, the game. Parker Sixby came in in the third period. Oh, wow. He hit three straight up. threes. Yep. Then the fourth one was a little long, and then he didn't uh, hit another one. Uh, he had two for two from the line, total of 11 points. Talon Whalen uh, today had uh, three three-pointers, one two-pointer, total of 11 points in the uh, game. Just missing double figures was uh, Brooklyn John. Uh, he had uh, one three. He had... Uh, Three uh, two-point field goals, no free throws, nine points uh, for uh, Brooklyn John. Four points in the game to uh, Noah St. Clair. Uh, he had two field goals and four points in the game to uh, Keaton uh, Iron Eyes. Um, let's count up the uh, free throws. I'm just curious here. Lander made two, three, four free throws in the game out of uh, two, four, six. So they were four for six from the free throw line. And on the other side of the uh, yeah, point, let's, let's at that. take a that. Let's see how many they made. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Fourteen made out of uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, uh, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. 22. So uh, Buffalo had 14 of 22 from the uh, field, and, uh, from the free throw line, and Lander had four of six. And part of the reason for that, it uh, wasn't the officiating. It was that Lander was being much more aggressive, yeah. especially in that first half. Yeah, I think I think they were. They were willing to maybe try to get some sacrifice a foul if they could get a turnover too, which they did. Which they did. 11 yep. turnovers for Buffalo unofficially. Tigers, though, had 17 uh, turnovers, uh, and, and some of those were unforced. Yep. And, uh, but uh, it's an improvement from their average. Yeah. So. <laughs> yep, we're going in the right direction. Yeah, when you have, uh, when you have uh, something like that, it is uh, good. Um, uh, we saw Finn McFadden earlier in the game, uh, but as you uh, called uh, called out, uh, we didn't see him uh, the remainder of the game. So I'm not sure what uh, might have happened to Finn, or if he might have uh, gotten all the quarters he needed he uh, could play with. I'm yeah, not I, sure. I don't know. It just I saw that they were kind of working on his legs a little bit, and but um, but something something was up. Uh, the Tigers ended up with uh, 18, uh, 20, uh, 18, 19 fouls in the, in the game. And we had 3, 4, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 for Buffalo. So 19 fouls for Lander and uh, 13 for the um, Buffalo uh, Bison. And Buffalo wins this game 60 to uh, 56. And we'll be back with Coach Stu Mullins of the head coach of the Lander Tigers right after this. The choice is yours. Sutherland's Friends of the Family Plus Consumer Credit Card lets you choose from 5% off instantly at the register or special financing on qualifying purchases. That means no forms, no waiting, no rebates. You can choose 5% off instantly with your Sutherland's Credit Card. Got a big project? Choose special financing. The choice is yours with Sutherland's Friends of the Family Plus Consumer Credit Card. Subject to credit approval, minimum monthly payment required. See store for details only at Sutherland's. Enjoy fresh-made pizza, pasta, calzones, and subs at Perrette's, 519 West Main in Riverton. Open for lunch and dinner Monday through Friday. Closed on weekends. Call 857-7306 to order for pickup or delivery with DoorDash. Perrette's. 
They have the biggest and bestest selection in the area. And 172 point inspection. I still remember they're almost as smart as my dad. As for my Uncle Joey, he's the best. Pay up. Midway when you expect the best. Job, Kate. Your car or truck is an investment. When it needs repairs, you need someone you can trust to do the job right. Take it to Gunners Automotive. They repair all makes and models of cars and trucks, from oil changes to brakes, tires, and more. Gunners Automotive, 856-2288. Quality in Thermopolis offers great rates, a convenient location, standard room, and family rooms with bunk beds. Choice hotel members earn points while you stay. Quality in is proud to support Fremont and Hot Springs County student athletes. Visit Lander Gambles to make your home feel like new. They will beat any competitor's price. Stop by to speak to one of the sales agents or visit LanderGambles.com. Lander Gambles will help you find the perfect product that fits your budget and lifestyle. Lander Gambles, 420 Main Street, Lander, Wyoming. For more than 60 years, RTO Point S has been installing quality tires and offering expert vehicle service in Fremont County. With two locations on South Federal and West Main in Riverton, RTO Point S is proud to support our Fremont County student athletes. And we're back with uh, Lander head basketball coach uh, Stu Mullins. And uh, coach, uh, you got three good quarters, and uh, and then Buffalo started being a little more physical, and and they caught you from behind. Yeah, yeah, we we uh, we played really well. Um, I think for the majority of that game, and um, you know, I think the difference was, you know, twenty three got four straight offensive rebounds, and yep. and every single putback went in. And so, um, you know, I think what what we have at that point probably a five or six point lead and so you know we talked about it at the beginning of the season you know those first two weekends you learn to compete um, which is a one skill set to get into games and then another skill set is actually winning the games um, and that only comes with experience learning from these things and it t it's tough you, you obviously would love to learn off of a win kind of like Worland but um, you know that that's just where we're at and Kids' heads are high, and, and uh, I think guys are ready to get back to practice and continue to get better. Yeah, you were talking uh, in our broadcast earlier this morning about the trying to reduce those turnovers, and uh, we were under the, our average for turnovers, but still had 14 of them. Yep, 14 in the first half is what we had. Yeah, in and, the first uh, half, yeah. Um, you know, and, and I was 17 just, overall. Yeah, so three in the second half, which yeah. was a huge accomplishment for this team, and um, just passing away from the defense, being strong, and we flowed a lot better into our offense uh, tonight than we have probably all year. And, um, you know, so those are just things we've got to continue to work on and harp on in practice. And we've been, you know, putting them in situations and passing under pressure. And, you know, and unfortunately for these guys, you know, I was just telling this group, you know, we had uh, coming into this season, there's probably four or five guys that w would have been with us uh, for injury or, uh, off the court or transfer, all that kind of stuff. And so um, a lot of these kids, you know, th this is their first experience <laughs> and, uh, you know, trial by fire with, uh, you know, Warland and Buffalo and Rollins that are all varsity teams. And, um, you know, and, and they're doing a heck of a job just sticking with them. So we're really proud of them, um, you know, and, and just really proud of the way that they played tonight. Well, one of the th reasons that you play tournament is to get to see other teams. And uh, we're going to play Lyman next week. And we got to see Lyman play here in this tournament. Yeah, Mountain View next week. And uh, Mountain View. And then, uh, yep. okay. Yeah. yeah, Mountain View Friday, Jackson Saturday. Okay, that's yep, it. Yep, yep. Uh, but same, same. I mean, Mountain View, uh, uh, they beat Buffalo today, you know. So um, that was their first win of the season. And, and um, you know, th it's just crazy how 3A looked this weekend. Um, everybody beating them, each other. Warland went two and one. Their only loss is us. And, um, you know, so uh, that was the message to our team was we are so close. Um, and really it's going to come down to who really improves over the, the next six to eight weeks. And um, it starts in practice. And, and we're excited for that. Yeah, we thought the dagger was that shot at the end of the first half. 
uh, when they got the, the three point. Oh, I know. At the buzzer, you know, it was yeah, like into oh, the first gee. quarter. Yeah, uh, first quarter. Yeah. Well, he he hit the side of the backboard on his first shot, and then you know, I guess he had to go find his range at half court, you know, and and bank that in. But um, it is what it is. Uh, yeah. You know, I was. We had a really really good first quarter. Yeah, and and the Tigers uh, came out strong. Uh, you wanted them to be a little more aggressive, and they certainly were today. I think that was a positive thing. Yeah, you, we kind of carried the momentum from that fourth quarter against Rollins into into the entire game. Um, you know, we just we just missed a couple box outs is really the big difference in that game, and uh, and I was just really proud of the way they competed all the way through, even seven seconds on the clock. Um, Peyton gets all the way to the rim, gets gets uh, gets the. Uh, two-pointer you know the layup and then we call timeout and uh, they travel on the sideline and they didn't call it um, but you know we're down three at that point yeah um, and I was telling them you know I've, I've had teams that if it's four points and there's 12 seconds on the on the clock you know they they start putting their heads down and this is over and yeah it, it wasn't over until right when he made that last shot to to, to make it four yeah, well, that was a great thing. The uh, Tigers are showing a lot of resiliency. Uh, they're they're coming back. You know, yesterday against Rollins, holy cow, they were down a ton and uh, came back into single uh, digits there. And uh, uh, as we said, a couple more minutes and the Lander might have won that game. Yeah, yep, uh, yeah. They're and and we talked about it. You know, we had, we played one great quarter against Warland. We played one great quarter against uh, Rollins, and I thought we played three and a half really good quarters tonight. So. Um, that's improvement, and we talked about it before the game. What does it look like for us to be consistent? And everybody knows what we need to do. Um, it's just a matter of going out and doing it, and, and for the most part, we did. We just came up a little short. Yeah. Well, Coach, we'll see you after the next game uh, next week in uh, Lander. Uh, interesting uh, tournament this year. Tigers making a lot of progress. Yeah, yep, yep. I'm proud of the boys, and um, we'll keep working, and their their heads are high, and We'll learn a lot from this weekend. Very good. Coach Stu Mullins, head coach of the uh, Lander Tigers, talking with us here in the postgame uh, show, the Click It or Ticket postgame show here on uh, 93.1 uh, KFCW and streaming live on YO Today uh, YouTube. We'll take one more break and be back and wrap this puppy up. Nana's Bowling and Bakery in Dubois for Family Fun Night. Now booking parties for all ages and occasions. To reserve your company, family, or birthday party, call 455-3660. Nana's Bowling and Bakery is proud to support Fremont County Student Athletes. If you're planning home improvement projects, look no further than Valley Lumber. They provide nothing but the best from lumber, power tools, hardware, paint, plumbing supplies. If you need it, they have it. Valley Lumber at 290 North 2nd Street in Lander. Okay, uh, back again uh, here at uh, the... Um, uh, well, our, our little thing isn't working here. We're going to do the Gatorade player of the game, but it's not popping up on uh, the uh, screen, so we apologize uh, for that. But this is the Gatorade player of the week. It also gets a, a free pizza from um, um, the uh, Take and Bake pizza place in the, in Riverton. And uh, we uh, appreciate uh, all that work. Uh, it's Papa Murphy's. Uh, pizza in uh, Riverton. Uh, they're located at uh, 1020 North Federal Boulevard next to the Dollar Tree. And we thank uh, Rick Pat Paxton for uh, his uh, support of uh, Lander Tiger uh, Athletics with uh, player of the game uh, free pizza. And you also get a Gatorade. So that's not too Can't bad. That. And our player of the game today, we didn't mention who it was, did we? <laughs> we didn't. Alan, you we want the, the honors there? Yeah, I think uh, Bennett Washburn was uh, our player of the game. I think he, you know, he had a tough assignment uh, playing one of the better players in, in the state. And, and uh, he held his own. And yeah. uh, I thought, you know, that early on that game, he was kind of setting the tempo. So. Yeah, and of course we're talking about Eli Patterson, the All-Stater, uh, who ended up with 28 points, and uh, he would have had a whole lot more if Bennett hadn't been there uh, on him. And uh, the true, uh, you know, uh, he was also on Bennett, so you That's know right. it was, uh, you know, Bennett ended the, the game with uh, seven points, uh, but uh, he is our player of 
the game. Well, Alan, it's uh, been uh, a great time here in uh, Pinedale, a couple of days, a nice uh, little country town here, a lot of friendly folks here, and, yes. uh, and uh, had some good eats in town, and, uh, you know, we're ready to uh, make over that trip over South Pass now. <laughs> Let's go do it. <laughs> I want to thank uh, back at the studio uh, Katie Shields for her work on the engineering uh, tonight back at the uh, studio, and on behalf of Alan Mullins and uh, all of our uh, sports uh, sponsors, this is Ernie over bidding you a pleasant good evening uh, from Pinedale, and we'll see you next uh, Thursday night against Mountain View at uh, Bob Carey Memorial Fieldhouse. That's it for us, and uh, we'll see you again on the radio next week. Take care, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.